बिफोर दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन आई वॉज रीडिंग अबाउट यू एंड मुझे लगा कि आपके बारे में मुझे ज्यादातर मालूम है एंड आई वॉज सरप्राइज टू फाइंड अ स्टोरी आई डिड नॉट नो एंड दैट स्टोरी वॉज दैट वेन यू आर अ स्मॉल चाइल्ड योर फादर गेव यू द नेम सलीम एंड वन ऑफ यूर सिस्टर्स इज इज स्टिल कॉल्ड कलोकली घर पे नॉट ऑफिशियली नजमा एम आई राइट या पार्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी इज राइट इसके पीछे क्या कहानी है आई <laughs> नो कि आपको शायद बहुत बारी पूछा होगा लेकिन अभी भी बहुत से लोग नहीं जानते सच ये है कि अब मैं थोड़ा सा यू नो सच इज द पावर ऑफ सोशल मीडिया ट्रोलिंग that i have started now feeling almost awkward about this but question but you should not it's your life <laughs> that's that you know this I, I, if anything there's something to feel proud of uh, but uh, this is the strange thing uh, you know just last night one of my cousins sent me a whatsapp mm. uh, he's in bits bilali group so he was from bits bilali and he said uh, look this was coming on my whatsapp group कि योगेंद्र यादव का नाम सलीम है नहीं नहीं कि बंदा है सलीम इसने झूठे से लोगों को मुसलमान सलीम है इसने छुपाने के लिए अपना नाम योगेंद्र यादव किया है इट इज लाइक यूसुफ खान कॉलिंग हिमसेल्फ दिलीप कुमार दिस वाज ऑन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप ऑफ बिट्स पिलानी so is cheez wo se ab mere ko thoda wo lagne laga the story is very simple i've told it several times par aapko lagna nahi chahiye before you tell the story ye aapki zindagi hai aap apne zindagi ke kuch hisse logo ke samne na rakhe kyunki wo distort ho sakte hain by trolls that should not be where we are but that's where we are in this country aren't we uh, matlab koi aur desh hota to is pe shayad film banti is kahani मेरे पे नहीं आई एम एब्सोल्युटली इंसिडेंटल कैरेक्टर मुझे कहानी बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग लगी आई एम अ प्रॉप इन दैट स्टोरी आई एम नोबडी इन दैट स्टोरी टेल अस द स्टोरी एंड देन वी कैन टॉक अबाउट अदर थिंग्स नो दिस इज स्टोरी अबाउट माय ग्रैंडफादर इन 1939 ही वाज इन हिसार व्हिच वाज देन इन पंजाब एंड दिस वाज द टाइम ऑफ कम्युनल राइट्स सो देयर वाज सम इंसिडेंट दैट हैपेंड द डे बिफोर एंड अलेजेडली सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम हिज स्कूल वर इन्वॉल्वड इन डेसिक्रेशन ऑफ अ मॉस्क so the mob a muslim mob came to the school next day he was my grandfather was the warden ram singh ji uh, they came and demanded those boys he said no i am their guardian now uh they said nahi to tumhara gala kaatenge he said fine let it be me first it has to be me first and they actually gandase se unka sar kaat diya wahi pe of your grandfather my grandfather ram singh ji and your father witnessed my this? father was 8 year old he witnessed it you know and then and uh, so you would normally expect hatred from muslims ye wo but you know this is he, he was uh, he was very deeply influenced by gandhi ji and he decided uh, so in 1952 when they married my father and my father he said bas ek baat hai jo bacche honge na unko muslim naam dunga so my mother accepted what choice did she have in those days uh, 57 my eldest sister was born she was named nazma she is not called nazma today she is dr neelam yadav okay. uh, my mother said wo sab theek hai ladki ke sath mat karo shaadi nahi hogi beti ki jab ladka hoga na jo marzi kar lena mm. so that was the compact then the next sister was born to now and then when i was born i was given the name salim this was not my nickname this was my name that i carried to the school so you were salim yadav no just salim just salim ha i you know i just you know because i went to school very early i was hardly 3 and a half when i went to school with my sisters and one year a few months i can't even say whether one year or few months everyone would ask me tum salim kaise ho and mind you this this was a town where there was not a single muslim family this was a you know rajasthan ganganagar mm. half punjabi half bagri and they would say acha tum salim kaise ho um jaise tum rajesh ho jaise tum sanjay ho waise main salim hu and then they would say nahi nahi apne matlab tumhare parents ke bachche nahi ho god liye ho kya sadak se uthaya tha kya nali se uthaya tha kya and i would come back home and say ki dekho kisi bachche se naam pe sawal nahi poochte mere se poochte hain and my father would explain what would i understand these things he actually took me to a mosque uh, and in that town there was not a single muslim family left after partition so that was so haunted that i came back even more frightened mm. uh, and i said kuch gabad hai isme matlab you know and after a few months i said ya to mera naam badal do nahi to main school nahi jaunga 
उसने से ठीक है बेटा कर लो सो पर्ची डाली ऐसे सर तुम बताओ नाम क्या होना चाहिए ऐसे ऐसे थोड़ी होता है मम्मी पापा नाम देते हैं सो पर्ची डाल दी इट वॉज योगेंद्र सो अगले दिन से मैं टेक्निकली योगेंद्र बन गया बट द फनी थिंग इज दैट नथिंग चेंज माई ट्रोलिंग इन द स्कूल स्टॉप्ड आई बिकेम योगेंद्र बट फॉर ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स ऑल माई फैमिली फ्रेंड्स माई विलेज माई फैमिली आई वॉज एंड आई रिमेन सलीम Even so today? till recently, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even today, if I get a you know call from someone says Slima, <laughs> I I know it's Ganga Nagar. It's someone you know, someone very close to me is calling me. Do you think of yourself family, as Slima or Yogendra? We all live with so many double Names, identities, different identities. You know, so but uh, for my know. parents, for for my wife, for my sisters, uh, my parents till they passed away, I was Slim. Now the thing is that you know in any other country, as I said, I'm just a prop in that story. It's not about me. It's about partly about my grandfather, but more about my father. You know who thought? I was just asking that mm-hmm. normally, if a child watches his father being killed mm-hmm. by a Muslim mob, mm-hmm. so a bitterness comes, a anger comes, a cynicism comes, and we saw this. You know, I'm I'm from a partition family, and I've seen some of these struggles. Why did your father find healing in giving his some healing he must have found yes. in giving his children Muslim names? I to, you know he was a very I mean you know, my father was he's no more now he was a very reticent person wouldn't speak very much uh, he would write wouldn't speak very much <coughs> and uh, certainly not speak about himself uh, he was kind of a saintly kind of you know. Uh, com- non-religious but very spiritual uh so he wouldn't speak but i think uh, two or three things he mentioned occasionally one he said that you know he told us that he witnessed partition violence as well mm. and in partition muslims were just butchered in my area you know this was this massacre of muslims in this rewadi mahendragarh belt where we we came from so probably he saw the other side as well um and uh, probably this was his way of uh telling himself i would not allow hatred to conquer me uh probably it was gandhi he was deeply influenced by gandhi ji um probably it was that uh but yes right till the end of his life so it was not just that naming uh in everything you know in 1914 uh 2014 after um no 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 after 2014 yeah just before 2019 he wrote a letter to prime minister Achha. and said tum isko kar dena which was to say you are a good prime minister you are doing good things for the country it's fine but uh, what you are doing in kashmir is not good what you are doing to muslims is not good this is uh, these are not good things for the country in the long run please remember being prime minister is a great responsibility uh, so he was not Was and a, this or something he he was not he he could see shades of gray yeah 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 he saw uh, he saw uh, virtue in any opponent um, in fact uh, you know i was young i started debating and uh, i came back home and uh, you know he said i said kya kiya debate bola tha sab acha kya batao so now and he twice this kind of thing happened once he asked me acha uh, do you believe in what you are saying i said nahi ji wo teacher ne bola tha ki iske motion ke against mein bolna hai maine bol diya i mean all of us did that in the school uh, so he said i can see from your eyes that you don't believe in what you are saying never do that i said ji wo fir team mein kaise jaunga he said don't go it's all right you won't win a few prizes that's all right don't say what you don't believe in you know Mm-hmm. and uh, second time which is related to what you asked earlier you know he i he heard one of my debate things and he said so you think your opponent have uh, nothing sensible to say i said no no they, they do have some sensible points he said what are those i said 1 2 3 he said but why don't you say that i said you know i'm speaking for the motion how can i begin by saying that you know my opponents have very sensible mm-hmm. points he said but try why not but do you think by conceding those three points your case is demolished I said no actually I don't I don't think it's demolished I think they have three sensible points but they're outweighed by the following things he said why don't you say that that my opponents have these three sensible things but they're outweighed by other things isn't that what you believe in 
I said, yes. He said, just go and say that. 